Prohibition in the U.S. made it illegal to make or sell alcohol from 1920 to 1933. But that didn't stop people, especially in rural areas, from doing just that. It was a matter of survival for a lot, of, a lot of people in this country, particularly the South. For those people who it had to be a way of life to, to raise children and to make a living, uh, uh, you know, when you couldn't sell a bushel of corn for 25 cents, you could put it in a jar and get $10 out of it. There weren't no jobs. If you didn't make liquor, work some at the fair and man, there wasn't nowhere to work. And in Virginia, Franklin County became known as the moonshine capital of the world. It basically started in the Endicott Firm area, in the western part of the county from the 20s, because it had the natural water, it had the mountains for hiding the steels, and it didn't get a lot of traffic. For many locals, it was a way of life, whether it was legal or not. You know, there's an art. It is an art that's, that's been handed down in this county for years, maybe a hundred years. And that was a time when there was a steel in every hollow back when I was growing up. Two federal agencies were created to enforce prohibition. Jack Powell was one of 52 agents assigned to Virginia. That was our job, hunt down the, distil the illegal distilleries and, 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 and uh, blow them up, hunt down the moonshiner and put him in behind bars, uh, get him bond, let him go home. For moonshiners, it meant constantly living in fear of being caught. It was usually a family affair. The women would help. If she seen the law coming, she would shoot the double barrels, 12 gauge shotgun to warn us to run, and we would, and, and we had an old dinner bell out there, and we'd, she'd ring that thing too. You could hear that thing for 10 miles. And even the children would help. Well, I started helping daddy when I was seven years old. It's still, and we was raised up making shine. He said, don't you step all night and just watch that mule's ears. When anything comes around, I don't care if it's a chicken, a dog, whatever, that mule stick his mule straight up. It's a good watchdog. So that was my job, step all night and watch the mule's ears. And bootleggers went to great lengths to hide their stills. The one I like most is, uh, is the cemetery still, as it's called in Franklin County. They took tombstones consisting of cinder blocks, painted white, with artificial flowers in front. So when the agents do their flyovers, especially in the fall, it was just a it was just a cemetery. And even though the RICO Act has by and large put an end to the mass production of white lightning, the art of making moonshine may never actually die. If there's something to ferment, someone's gonna to try to make it make illegal whiskey or brandy.